There you go, Bloodshed Brothers. Here's your $20 gift card for working so hard and winning that contest. I'll mail it out pretty soon. While working on this hand, uh, doing these fingers, I'm using a lot smaller uh, strips than I've used in the past. Um, they seem to, they go on easier. I have less trouble like getting them to lay flat, but for some reason they don't stick as well, so I have to overlap them. Uh, it's hard to tell on the camera, but I have to overlap them a lot more. Uh, like not a single little piece can be sticking out or they start kind of popping up. So issues with trying a new technique. See everyone, Katie is alive. <laughs> she hasn't been in a video for like a month and a half, but she's alive. And I finished wrapping the hand. That's what I really want to show you guys. Screw Katie. No, I'm just joking. Get out of the fucking picture. Anyways. Oh, okay. She just wanted to pick her nose. But yeah, I finished finished wrapping the hand, so I'm gonna I'll probably just paint it really fucking quick tonight. I'm just gonna paint it light gray, so quit it! We're putting your wet hair on it. Uh oh. <laughs> and before you know it, it's done. <laughs> um, basically it was a coat and a half of paint of just gray, sort of a, almost like a stone look to it, um, with a little bit of white added on top, so it wasn't uh, anything magical, but um, I didn't want to spend too much time painting this guy just because I really want to move on to the other arms, but it's good enough. It looks creepy and sort of... I don't know, alienish, demonic alienish. <laughs> That's done, finally. We're at the haunt, and again, it's going on four o'clock in the morning. It seems every time I've been over here recently, it's been really friggin' late, and I'm not gonna probably do too much over here tonight. Um, I did want to show my my little pre-scene idea of this corpse being uh, munched on by some of the rats, and I have some roaches too that. Uh, J Wall uh, sent me with my pumpkin. Um, and I'm probably going to put those roaches around this scene. This is going to be right out in front of the uh, sewer area, right on the basically the, the I don't know, the pre sewer area. It's hard to explain. <clears throat> in the sewer area is where it'll be. And then I really, really wasn't sure. This little uh, spider skeleton dude I've had for years. I managed to put him out. He's gone out every single year in some little spot, and it's like little stuff like that that people point out, and they go, oh my god, look at that, that's so creepy looking. Um, I actually have his neck tied on with some fishing line because it's super fragile, and it kind of snapped a little bit, but I have actually found a use for this neon green uh, spider webbing that I've had. Uh, we used it at my house last year just to decorate a little bit, but... I don't know, it's, it's always seemed like a little cartoony. You know, I always used the white spider webbing for, you know, spiders. And uh, I've never had a, a really use for the green uh, black light reflective t uh, type until this year. Since I'm going to do like this toxic sewer area, um, it's going to have green water coming out of the pipes. I might as well use him in the sewer area on just one of the sewer pipe construction parts and just have some spider webs, uh, that green spider webbing, and have him up in there. And it makes perfect sense. He's some nuclear toxic spill, half human spider skeleton creature. And now I can finally use the bag of it uh, that we have left over from last year. We have like three bags of it. But um, someone gave it to me for free uh, a while back, like two or three years ago. Um, I've been trying to get rid of it. So now I can fucking get rid of it. I'm currently a little freaked out of moving this guy right now because last year uh, he had at least one, if not two, I can't remember, roaches inside of his uh, gown um, and they fell out when I was carrying him. Luckily they were dead, uh, but I, you know, I just don't want a nice surprise of a, a live roach coming out. So I'm going really slowly moving him out of the closet. <laughs> I might actually use this guy this year in the graveyard. I didn't use him last year, um, but I got him, uh, what, two years ago now for incredibly super cheap, like was heading to the garbage uh, cheap. And I mainly grabbed him because of how tall he is. I mean, you can tell I'm six foot three, and this guy's a good two and a half inches taller than I am. Um, but he's, I mean, he was at Spirit. He's the animated guy that opens his chest up and he's a little 
soul faces inside, uh, and his jaw moves and he talks, but, um, even if he was dead, you know, completely dead, I, I still wanted to take him just because he was such a tall, uh, creature. He's the tallest, you know, free, you know, full standing on a pole creature that I have, so he'll probably, if, uh, I can work him into the graveyard, I might put him sort of in the back, maybe a little bit, um, just since he's so tall, you know, it'll kind of create that, like, landscaping, you know, look to it where I don't have a lot of tall things, so I'll stick him in the back, and he'll be a good back piece. Now that big-ass reaper is out of the closet, I can actually, like, totally get in here and grab crap off the shelves. Um, you can finally see Rotten Hill again, and he's not eaten by roaches, which is <laughs> fantastic. And this guy right here... Uh, this animated skeleton, his, he was at Spirit also a few years ago, his head raises up, uh, his, basically his spine grows. Um, I'm going to use him as sort of like the greeter into the graveyard area this year, sit him out, um, out front and have him say hello to people. And this dude is going to be in the sewer area, popping up uh, right behind where the corpse will be with the rats, and if my plan kind of all goes perfectly, um, the spirit has a animated little rat this year that has a knife stabbed through him and he twitches and freaks out. Uh, it would be, be perfect to have this dude holding the two knives who, uh, raises up and laughs all maniacal, uh, to come up right behind this guy, which will have the rats, you know, in front of him and then have one of the rats stabbed, like laying next to him. So sort of like... He uses uh, the dead corpse to attract uh, his prey, which are the rats, and then he's stabbing them and what, selling them on eBay or eating them, one of the two. I haven't decided his full story yet, but that's the idea. And on to the next arm. Uh, this one's going to be pretty small. This is actually the first left arm that I've ever built, um, but this is just going to have four fingers and there's going to be a matching right arm for it, so they're going to be sort of both reaching out close to each other. Um, you know, one sort of facing up and one down like he's trying to grab out of the window at somebody. Um, but obviously this is just sort of the very base rudimentary design of him. And I got to fill out the hand a lot, make it look like a chicken foot. Um, but yep, next arm, only two more to go after this one. And uh, I guess that is it for this video, guys. So, peace. Peace.